So now if you're wondering how robot vacuum cleaners even do their thing and work, generally they are a similar kind of idea. They usually feature a couple of spinning brushes like these ones and we've got spare ones here as well and a rolling brush here. And they move around and suck up the dirt and debris and then deposit it in a little bin here which you then go and empty. Although now there are actually versions of these that go and empty themselves onto another attachment on the wall. There's also an attachment for this one that fits on which is for mopping and you obviously you add water when you want to do that as well and this is a little brush for cleaning. Another fairly important point actually is that they also feature laser and sensing technology and that enables them to move efficiently around your space. So all around the front here this is actually a laser. That's what's going to tell the machine where to go and it has a memory and it stores it so it can create maps of different rooms and different floors in your home or your office wherever you're using it. So overall conclusion perhaps you can tell already from how closely I'm holding this to me that I don't want anyone to take it away is that this is a great addition to our lives. Now initially we weren't sure how much it was doing really surprised and actually quite shocked to then empty the bin after it hadn't even been you know, working for that long and just how much it picked up, particularly the fine dust as well and the stuff that's hidden. So I think definitely our house is a cleaner place for it and actually a healthier place as well, of course, because all that dust is you know, carrying, uh, is toxic dust, isn't it, in some cases, especially if you've got people in your house with asthma and allergies and things that you need to keep on top of.